everybody and welcome to my best mass robot setup. I want to show you three different kind of setups I choose and I tried out. Before we start it would be great, please give a thumb up under this video here, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. In the end of the video I will show you my best setup, we start here now with the hazards. These weapons are great on 600 meter range and the firepower is immense. Let's try them out here against a Kipri. The bad thing on these weapons is that um, if the shield popped up, yeah, you have to wait. And sometimes you only have one shot left and um, yeah, when you reload, then the shield, like in this case, popped up again. And yeah, this is sometimes very tricky to get a robot, a good pimped up robot down. But at all, they doing a good job. With three of them, you can do everything. You can get down titans or strong robots. You have to play it well, but at all, yeah, now in this case, against the Rochi, let's try to get him down with the mouse robot. The cool thing is the shield. The reload time of the shield is near the same like on the Typhoon, but you have a much bigger shield than on the Typhoon here. And another good thing on the mass robot is that the shield is around the robot so the enemy have to destroy at first the shield and then yeah the enemy can get you down here in combination with a good mothership when you have then two shields it feels very safe and great and you can see here um, the enemy always try to get my first shield down and after this one there is the second one. And another great thing is that uh, yeah, the robot because of the shield and because of the HP he has um, he can get a lot of damage before it's getting down. But we can get a Kibri easily down with the Mars robot. The combination of the drone, the yeah, pilot and the weapons and then you will be great. Okay, here a Orochi with punches. This build is very deadly and we have a Seraph. And here we go, three robots against me and we can stay against them with my teammates. Another good thing here on the Mars robot, and this is the reason why I like him, when you put down your turret, then it is extremely fast with the skills of the pilot, then much faster, but at all, yeah, this hazard build isn't good for me, and there are much stronger builds out there. Let's try out here the fainter weapons, the new one. Again, 600 meter range, and yeah, I will show you that they are strong, but they aren't the right build for this amazing robot. The first thing is, like I said, this ones have a huge amount of firepower, but the bad thing is, on long range, on 600 meter, it is very difficult to hit the enemy if the enemy is fast and we have a lot of fast spots in the games here. The Kebris, the Orochis and yeah, Sirens and Harpies, Seraph, always tricky to get those down. But what I use on every build is the same drone. You can see this one here on the left side. Like I said, in the end, I will show you the rule setup, which is very useful and great for the Mars robot. In the end, the fainters aren't the right setup for me for the Mars robot. They are too fast, empty. The firepower is good, like I said, but the delay on the shoots on longer range didn't fit with um, yeah, the ability and how fast this robot is. And yeah, in the end, I tried out here this amazing shotguns and what 
the robot can do with this three amazing weapons I will show you now. I will use here the turret always going into the middle and doing damage with armadillo drone I get 15 defense points for every destroyed robot for every beacon and the good thing is here we can go into a fight do a lot of damage and go out there waiting till my ability is back the turret and yeah in the end of this match here or close to the end of the match um, I can do a lot of great things to hold the whole team back in their home base what I didn't even expect it but uh, yeah the turret is very strong in this ability and with those weapons then here you can see I do damage on the other side and I'm here at the first minutes it seems like yeah the enemy will get us very fast down and another cool thing with this robot is I stayed till the end of this match with only one robot with only the Mars robot and this setup and you can see it is a strong team with uh, a duo from CZ. A huge shout out to you guys that was an amazing game. Searching for cover at first and then I noticed okay let's try to get the middle here my turret will do a good job again because all the enemies are here on the right side their left side and so the rockets do an amazing job and doing an amazing damage to them look at my shield close to 800k and this is only one shield and i have two of those this robot wants me here at first I thought oh my goodness this one have a huge shield too then my turret got another one I got another 15 defense points here and against those Skyros robots against Kebri these weapons are really amazing I decided here let's try to get this body here down because of the explosion effect let's go for it and my turret helps me with this Skyros robot Two, close to last stand. And then he wanted me, but like I said, the shield is close to the robot and so yeah, he have to get this shield at first down and then he can only do damage to my robot. Okay, we got our home beacon back, so we got three beacons. Then I decided, let's go forwards let's push and try to get the enemies down with only here one robot and what then happened yeah that was totally crazy again at this map all those are on the right side their left side and my to it um yeah i can push this one 285 meters uh, to the enemy here we go again they sent me a spaceship but it all yeah we got M down and then I decided okay let's stay here we have all the enemies around me one with homing machine guns we have a Demeter here and a Titan let's try to get this buddy here at first down this is a Kibri a very strong build you know it are amazing now then I decided okay let's put my turret again on the right side and look this is a Titan give me a shield again and I can hold the whole enemy team here they can't go forward because they get damage from every side my teammates helps a lot And not that this is only the strongest build for me here, it is the most fun build at all. With the two red and the shotguns, you can do easily damage a lot of this. 
and um, the cool thing is getting um, yeah the shields very fast down too with the shotguns um, with the hazard this don't really work well and um, the fainters too we got the triple here there is a demir I talk about very strong build you have the same weapon set up like me it's going again to him and yeah place the turret to uh, hold him a little bit down and then I can go to this side and help my teammates and shoot against the Titans that is so crazy again I have a huge shield which um, is good here against this Demeter and in this case I thought okay now I will go down but no I won't again my teammates help me I can get I can do a lot of damage again sending my turret and so we can hold yeah all three beacons all the time going again back to cover and I think the enemy was a little bit frustrating here in this case and here we go Amanda let's try to get him fast down reload 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 Amanda behind cover he heals up let's send the turret again I can use my spaceship again with those weapons you can pimp up your spaceship very fast so you can use your ability much oftener and let's go for it and we did it that was amazing and in the end I did the most damage without a titan only with the mass robot this is my setup three times the maze mk3 I will show you my modules one times a nuclear amplifier with two times 40 fire because of the shield and this is Captain Clyde with the skills this works very well so hopefully you liked my video here and hopefully I can help you a little bit I will show you now my drone setup for this robot like I said I will use the armadillo drone for this with this ships here suppress repair defense and all the others and this works very well and then with the spaceship try this setup out if you want and you will have a lot of fun with your enemies and yeah with your teammates bye bye everyone and good luck i really wanted to get it right trying to find some balance in my life i never really put up a fight and now I'm losing sleep